Hi, this is Lisa from Monarch Butterfly Land Saving Society. I just wanted to um, make a new statement about some good news that we have been experiencing with our work feeding wildlife in the San Gabriel Mountains. We in Southern California, we have found that there has been an extreme change in the climate. Uh, we weren't sure if that was due to our work. But we're finding from reports from the conservatory offices, um, and now the San Gabriels are a national monument. Um, so there is a lot of uh, administrative type of things, I guess, that they have set up in place. They've noticed that there's been a big change in, in the bird migration patterns. And now they're saying that rains and cool weathers Cool weather has been attributed to a sudden um, development in the San Gabriel Mountains. We believe that's due to our work. We now have an invitation from another city uh, along the San Gabriel Mountain Corridor to become what they call a monarch city. And they made a lot of budget to pay for the uh, different food and nourishment we provide. We ask them to focus on the areas, the San Gabriel Mountains, because of the desert climate and the winds that were blowing north to south instead of the the normal direction of the jet stream, which is from west to east. We're flying up and down the mountains from Mexico, and there was what they called the Santa Ana winds, which were extremely arid hot winds that would envelope the mountains and shoot down into the levees uh, in different parts of the mountain ranges. And then they were attributed to causing huge, huge devastation, devastating fire, forest fires. Um, we believe for some reason when feeding the wildlife, it changed the cloud cover and it changed the, the greenery and that the Santa Ana winds have now abated. We think the westerly winds are now prevailing correctly. We're hoping so. We don't really have word on that, but we know that the climate has changed and the migra migration of many birds has come in. And we, we now are focusing on deliveries of food to a new part of the San Gabriel's another town that takes care of a different section. And we're going to be donating um, specific items to start cleaning up the forest fire, devastated soils, and to help the wildlife still uh, work at living in the forest fire, devastated areas. We feel our corn on the ground for the gophers, our bird seed throw down, which will be sown into the into the ground, and any other nourishment apples we are delivering to for the gophers will start causing the soil, the erosion, uh, the eroded soil from the forest fires to be cleaned up. And then we feel even more flourishing of trees and bushes and grasses can occur in the San Gabriels and the climate will continue to even change and be even better. We also have learned that in our prayers for the westerly winds to prevail, because we feel that the shearing effect of a wind going from north to south, as opposed, which are the Santa Anas, as opposed to the westerly flow, which is um, from west to east, and we don't really know why there were, were shearing in the winds. It could be due to desertification and lack of trees, which caused cloud cover and lack of the ozone layer, which was depleted. And then the winds were not necessarily um, uh, maybe tempered by vegetation or, or, or even the migration of birds, which fl f probably um, uh, correlate to the patterns of the earth and with with everything um, uh, without cloud cover and things which might have something to do interrelated with the currents up above. Uh, maybe that led to a, a, a sort of haphazard wind flow. We don't know. I don't know. It's worth studying that. But we also learned that we feel the westerly winds were moving in an opposite direction near the north west corner of Africa because we know that hurricanes come from around that point. They form and they start a circular motion on the northwest 
corner of Africa, and instead of the westerly winds prevailing to go from west to east over Africa, it seems that the the winds turn around over the northwest corner of Africa and then head back to the western hemisphere in the form of rounding, uh, you know, circular patterns called hurricanes, which are incre- extremely devastating. We feel that, again, the westerly winds are not prevailing in that area and that the wind patterns were somehow circling just before they would flow over Africa and turning back and heading in the wrong direction, which might have, which we believe has led to all of the hurricanes that we deal with on Earth, which almost seems antithetical to life on the planet. We don't know why there would be such a, a type of cycle that would hurt life when our planet really is when you read about the history of our planet, our planet is a nurturing planet to all life. So we have been praying very hard to understand why the winds are wrong in certain areas. And it's not something, I'm not a meteorologist or climatologist. That's something who studies the weather. Someone who studies the weather would know, but we've been praying hard that that will change. And we feel that the birds who fly up there are are very highly evolved and might be the type of animals that would understand that. So all we've been focusing on is taking care of the birds and we've been tending to the birds. And now suddenly we're getting pictures over Algeria, which is Northern Africa, of a completely different sky. We think, I don't know, it seems like the most a beautiful, beautiful, cloudy, uh, temperate, uh, colorful sky that seems to be that showing that the winds are in the right direction. I don't know if that has to do with our uh, request that people feed the birds. We've talked to a few people in Northern Africa. We've been praying hard. People in uh, Europe know of our prayers. Maybe in Southern Europe, they've been feeding the birds. We don't know, but somehow the winds seem to be different now over Northern Africa. So we're really exciting. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but it seems that the cloud cover looks different and better. And that could affect the whole Sahara Desert region without doing much work. The, the natural progression of rainfall and, um, uh, a correct circular pattern reasserting itself in the earth could cause that the Sahara will start to be healed. We still plan to nourish the wildlife in that area because they still have the devastation of the soil that's eroded and all the lack of vegetation. But with the wind patterns correctly, correct, and um, the migration of birds and the secular patterns of the earth reasserting itself, if we take care of the wildlife, we think soon they will be back taking care of the environment and the earth will be renewed in many ways. We feel that global warming is on the way out. Thank you.